welcome back to another episode of the Blissology Podcast. I am your host, Cece, and I'm joined by my... Hi, everyone. This is Willem, and welcome to the Blissology Podcast, where we talk about a number of things, yes. such as... Life, love, relationships, friendships, parenting... Politics, I would say. I'm not a big fan, but yes, I know my husband loves politics. So, and whatever else is happening around the world, especially right now, it's Christmas. Well, actually, not Christmas. It was. It was Christmas, right? It's, it's the New Year. It's Eve. the holiday season. It's almost done. Almost over. Today, and then New Year's Eve tomorrow. Yes. And that's it. So, this is what our last podcast for the year for 2020 can't believe it's done already <laughs> you know what 2020 you were good and bad but it's time for you to go okay <laughs> right back what if 2020 says it does not want to go what are you gonna do i don't know i'll pack your <laughs> stuff for you and kick you out of here <laughs> i'll pack for you 2020 but you yeah. know what again again some people didn't get a chance to see the full of 2020, and we are grateful enough to see December 31st, um, the last day of 2020. So, and we are absolutely looking forward to 2021. 2021. I know God has a plan for us. It always does. He and always does. Yes. But I bet, but I gotta tell you, this year went by so fast. I feel like God is like, okay, there's so many things happen. Let's just rush the days. Let's just rush the week and the month. So, right? We can put it beside behind us and yeah, move forward. And move forward. Move forward. But everything that happened in this in this 2020, God knew already this was gonna happen. So it's just us people who didn't really who don't know what the future holds, but I'm sure God knew already. This was gonna happen, but you know what? We we're strong and we're ready. We're ready. Yes, we're ready. We're ready, and we are ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are ready. Although we lost some family members this year, yes. you know, I lost two family members: my uncle and my cousin who passed away. May the rest in peace. And my husband lost my his grandma. So I mean. Then again, we thankful to God for allowing us to be here in the city these days and and be able to move forward and continue yes. living life. Yes. And just the and thing is, I always said, you know, whether if we're grieving or we're celebrating, I always ask God for strength to be able to pick up and move on because life, this is life, right? Things We get the happen. good, and we the get bad. the bad, and the ugly. We make the best of what we're given. That's right. But you know what? We do have wisdom. <laughs> I'm a woman of wisdom. And I just gained one more year of my birthday last week. So listen, but I'm 25 for the rest of my life. I'm sure those of you who know me, you know CC is 25 forever. 25 forever. I told God, listen, lock it down. I don't want to look older. I don't want to look <laughs> younger. I want to look 25 for the rest of my life. And that is what is happening here. Okay? Right? <laughs> like <laughs> sure <laughs> sure yes i agree good to go anyway so um guys you're probably wondering what the blissful moments for us are going to be if you've yes. been following us by the way before we get into this i want to say thank you to everyone for supporting us throughout the year and obviously we've been able to make it to this last day of the year because of all your support yeah so thank you for being here with us uh we're looking forward to bring you even more uh, in, in next year coming. And for those of you probably seeing us first time, we, we welcome you. Um, remember to subscribe. We want to make sure that you get notified when we put out these videos, obviously. Yes. So, um, but yeah, we really appreciate all of you guys. Uh, we thank you. I know we all had run into our challenges throughout this year, but together I think we've made it. Although we started in the middle of the year, you know, the support that we got from the community. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yes, so, yes. So thank you, all of our people. Yes. Together, we're going to move over to the next year. So, and three, two, one. There goes a blissful moment. Last awesome. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. And I'm sure you enjoy that moment we've just shared with you. So let's get into the topic of the day. So, Woo-hoo. Cece, what are we going to discuss today? I don't know. What, do you, what, what should we talk about today? How about all these things that we experienced and we dealt with in 2020? Let's kind of list a few that we want to leave behind. We yes. don't want to take those with us yes. to the new year. Absolutely <laughs> agree with you. So what would the first one be? Listen. I know I have I have a few. You have a few? Well, you know, sometimes you, you would have an idea and then you start doubting the idea. Mm-hmm. Without even be, without even telling anyone else yes. that the idea is the idea. So there goes your number one, self doubt. Yeah, you can say that. Um, Are you going to make sure that you don't bring self doubt into the twenty twenty one? Self doubt, if you're hearing me right now, <laughs> you staying in twenty twenty, and and I'm, I'm sure that that's a challenge. I know I've 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 um I've, I've battled with self doubt, mm-hmm. and, and a lot many, of us, many people can relate to that. Yes. Yeah, because you know we are our biggest critics, and sometimes we discourage ourselves more than others would. Ooh. And and I can give. I mean, I've had many great ideas that pops up in my head, and I've worked it, and and then I find myself slowly picking at the parts of it that won't work, mm-hmm. and before you know it, I kill the idea. Yes, you know, I think building our confidence will be something that yes. we want to do from day one going into twenty twenty. I feel like confidence should be something that when a kid is born, when a baby is born, they smack you in your butt. It says, listen, have confidence, okay? Stick you with some sticky confidence. Stick you with some confidence in the year. Because that's something a lot of us struggle with. And and I know I'm not a bad looking person. I'm very pretty. And yeah. even though my husband don't say it as much, but I'm just kidding. He does say that a lot. But what I, what I want to say is that self-doubt is like... Kill so many dreams, not even not not only dreams, but imagine you took a pictures. N- knowing me, I would take a hundred pictures. I would take a hundred pictures, like because I'm doubting myself. I'm like, nope, nope, no. nope. This girl and would look at a picture, and there'll be one piece of hair out of line. <laughs> and obviously, you know, I'm a photographer, so we have. Programs that can really magnify these pictures, and one piece of hair will be out of line. It's just like, or if, if my arm happens to be ashy, you know, because listen, these ladies. knuckles, I've taken a number of pictures, they're probably ashy right now. Listen. I've had to retake pictures because my knuckles shows a little bit of um, they, they, they are kind of ashy, but they'd be better than this, and she would criticize them, and I have to take but other ones. The point is. It's just that you recognize if you can see that your knuckles ashy or or that piece of hair is hanging or it's not where, it's, where it needs to be, someone else will see it. But that's, that's not where, enough to kill the picture. And that's where the self doubt come because you already um, analyzing your own self. You're looking at the picture and you're like, man, mm, it's not good. So and so might say something <laughs> or so and so might see that I'm ashy in my arm or whatever. <laughs> So that's where it really comes down to. But then again, so self doubt. I want to tell you one thing: you are not coming with us to 2021, and I'm for real. And I think we carry self doubt. I just said I'm leaving them behind. Why would I want to carry it? I don't want them. Her (laughs) or whoever self doubt. It better be. (laughs) Well, you stay here, okay? With, With everything that happened this year in 2020. Self doubt is gonna stay with 2020. Yes, and not only for us, for a lot of you guys out there too, because we all have this challenge where we doubting ourselves. Listen, you are capable of doing whatever that you want to do: the business, the picture, going back to school, becoming a mother, becoming a wife, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. Stop doubting yourself. So that's the number one. And what's the second one, baby? Why are you looking at me? It's like I have all these things. <laughs> Procrastination. I'm bad with that. You know, and... and Live that in 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017. 20. Procrastination is like another thing. I feel like it goes so well with self-doubt. They're like husband and wife. Uh, yes, they tend to hang out together. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like, like buddies. Yeah, they're buddies. Uh, and, you know... It's it's been an issue for me, not just 
2020. I know. I know the other day I took some pictures for my uh for my for my dad on his birthday. That was last last month. Mm-hmm. And my brother was there and he's like, "What? We're going to see these pictures next year?" See? And unfortunately, I I procrastinated. And that's one example. There's a number of other things that for some reason I keep putting them away. Now, I know um, when I look deep down, I found I, I found the reason why sometimes it's the task seems so humongous that I I am afraid of tackling Break it, it into small pieces uh, and self doubt kicks in where I don't think that I can get it done, so yeah. I keep putting it off. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but I don't want to take procrastination with me. No, 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 and no. And I agree with you. And I feel like if there was, I need to stop saying I feel like too. <laughs> I need to live. Then you I don't feel, feel like, like <laughs> I need to live. I need to make sure I don't bring. I feel like in twenty twenty one because I do say I feel like a lot. I do say a lot, and I, you might hear me say it before the end of this podcast. I feel because like. I feel like oh, see here we go. I want to say that if there was something, some kind of magical thing where you could bring all these things that you don't want to bring. You know how when they say you burn all these letters or clothes things you don't want to bring with you or things that you feel like you grow you outgrow them you don't want to you don't want to keep wearing these clothes anymore or yes. keep these whatever if the, or let's say for example if you leave a job and you they give you a boxes and you walk out <laughs> or you leave everything well, we, back we, 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 we're gonna take a so, box and all these things that we wanted we're gonna write them on right can you imagine paper, stick them in there and then we we burn them Yes, that can you imagine? Work. That that might work. Like you just either you get a magical something, you just <laughs> get self doubt, procrastination, and all the other ones that we're gonna be talking about. You just say like, burn them up and not bring them into the new year. Don't go and burn stuff. Your neighbors <laughs> may call the police on you. <laughs> but imagine that you burn them. But you know, it's 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 taking these things. Be aware that these are these are. Um, Things that we need yes. to work on. And the thing is too, it's not easy for you to just get rid of them like completely. Oh, those are right? habits. Little mm. step at a time. If it's something that you know you really had a struggle with throughout this year with self-doubting yourself, we have that problem. With procrastination, we have that problem. You know, do a little step at a time and then see how much have you, you know, progress, right? Yep. So what's the third one? But the third one, I don't do much. But I know it's an issue you have. You 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 big at comparing yourself to others. How? Oh, I see so and so do this. I think I could do it. No. You have your virtual friends. You see them do things, and sometimes you want to do things just like they do. I have my virtual friends who don't <laughs> know who I am. <laughs> they don't know me, but I know them. And I told my daughters that I feel like. They know me somewhat spiritually speaking. <laughs> I didn't know you exist. <laughs> they see me comment on their videos. But it's not so much that I compare what they do, what I want to do. It's just that they give me that, that they inspired me. Okay. They inspire me. Then, that, me. then that's not comparing. Because they're up there. They're way up there. You know, because this is not the life for me just to be at where we are. We need to, we are moving a little step at a time for you to get better. I think that's the life too. You want to make sure you progress. You want to make sure that you grow. But if you see someone that can help you grow, that person really inspired you or you can use them as a role model, why not, you know, get met? And they have good information. And and this is the positive you know? way of looking looking at others to help you move forward. Right. But not look at others and, and resent them because they're there. Right. And this is where the issue comes in. Because right. some people would look at someone in a position and like, geez, man, I envy what they have. Right. Why couldn't it be, be, be me? Yes. Um, and this is where comparison, unfortunately, many of us sometimes do it. But when mm-hmm. you look at someone and that inspires you to do better, yes, yes. this is what you want to do. That's what my virtual friends do to me. That's what your virtual friends yes. do to you. Yes. Okay, then my bad. I said you're comparing <laughs> yourself to them, but yes. but yes, that's and that's something I think any one of us should leave back. You know, we all are at our places, mm-hmm. um, whether we are, you know, way up there excelling or we are way you way at the bottom. You there. Mm-hmm. For a reason, and if yeah. you need to be out of there, you don't have to hate the other person or think that you less of a person than the others. 
Because that's one thing that comparison does for people. So when you start comparing yourself, you devalue yourself based on where the other person is or where the other people are. No, value yourself, draw inspiration from what you're Mm -hmm. seeing the others are doing and force yourself to do more. Absolutely. And be grateful. Be grateful for their success Mm -hmm. and be grateful for yours, whatever you have at the point where you are, because eventually you'll get there. Yes. But resentment is, is yes. a killer also. Yes, it is. I agree. Because um, there's a lot of people that don't really know what they want, what they want to <laughs> do. So every week they want something else based on what they see others right. are doing. <laughs> right. So you got to know what you want to do. You can't just say, well, I want to do what she or what he does because I want to do he it. He seems to, to like it. He seems to like it. <laughs> or it seems to be working for him or for her. You got to know what you want. I mean, you can't just say you want to do what they do, but then deep down inside, you end up not liking it. Yeah. So that's... that's Stop comparing yourself Stop to comparing others. yourself to others. And if you are one of those people who do that, just leave that in 2020. Yep. You want to grow. And the thing is, when you're comparing yourself with others, you're not growing. You're basically living a life that's not even yours. Yep. Right? You're living a life where you're just comparing because he does this and you want to do it too. But then that's not what you want to do. So it's not your life. It's someone else's life. So stop doing this comparison. Stop saying, well, so-and-so have this. I want to have it too. Live it in 2020. <laughs> that's it. Live it in 2020 and find it inside of you and do you. Do you, boo. You know, you have so much potentials i feel like um <laughs> i'm not saying you're I'm, not saying it i'm not <laughs> so the next one that we want to talk about is toxic relationships what we want to say about toxic relationships i know this year alone 2020 i feel like with covid happened a lot of people really you know well a lot of people get to show their true colors yes <laughs> a lot of divorce right <laughs> I don't people, know anyone who's the People worst. just didn't like... Baby, there was like so many on the news or on YouTube. I, this why I, I, that, that's why that's, that's my channel. That's my channel. That's my news. I work and I listen to my YouTube videos where people just don't like being around each other for that long. Yes. You know? And it sucks. Yes. And I think one thing... <laughs> and I think... <laughs> And I think one thing when we uh, said about toxic relationships is also having negative friends. That's a way of having a toxic friendship, right? If you want those people that have like a toxic friendship. But what's a toxic friendship? I mean, what does it look like? People with bad influence. Mm, what's bad influence? Right? I mean, but, but here's the thing. People who just drain any... People who drain any energy out of you. People who would... Let's say if you see the positive out of something and that person will turn around and says, mm, I don't think so. You know, that kind of give it that vibe, yeah. that negative vibe. You know, it is, I remember at one point you had someone that you oh. work with. Man, I didn't know this person, but whenever she comes. So you're going to throw my business out there like that? Huh? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> in, Anonymous? Yes. But um, I I think I've met this person once. Yes, you and, did. And based on what you've shared with me in terms of the remarks, the comments, and all that. I pictured this person looking a certain way in my head. But, and I'm bringing this up because I've become to know this person in my mind as the person who always has something negative or some negative views on things. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm-hmm. It could be the best day there is. This person will find something wrong with it. Sure. And unfortunately, we all have some people in our lives that think this way. And I'll tell you, there's some people probably going to say the worst thing that could about this podcast right yes, now. Yes, because yes. the people that's how they think. Now, if you have those people in your lives, now, I believe we uh, we have to value people for what they are. Mm-hmm. However, I don't have to be close to you. I don't have to listen to all that shenanigans you have to say whenever you have to say it. Yeah. I'll say hi to you, but don't don't expect me to ever come and sit down and listen to your stuff. Because um, there are people that things you speak with them for five minutes. And all the energy, all the positivity they you have in you, it's kind of like, 
take you out. Why should you hang out with someone like this? And unfortunately, some people have spouses that are like Mm. that. Yeah. Good thing you're not like this. Good thing you're not like this. I would have kicked you to the... Actually, I would have put you on a wheelbarrow and rolled you to your parents already. (laughs) (laughs) And that will be fine. Yes. I mean, we, we have to look at our relationships. And if you had any... Don't um don't go and cuss this person out and delete them from your Facebook friends or anything. Just start limit limit limiting your interaction with this person. Eventually, you'll find you'll draw yourself. And and that's okay if you delete someone from your Facebook friends because they wouldn't know. And that's that's the thing too. I love about Facebook, <laughs> right? You can go ahead and delete someone who's so negative. Why do you want to have someone who's negative on your page, right? Because if you are like me, who posts on a daily, you know, basis, right? And then you, after you post something, you will see that person's comment, or you see that person's post something about someone, or they're bashing about somebody else. Then you may as well just unfriend this person because you are getting rid of all these toxic relationships or toxic friendships, and they don't they don't serve you any good, any better. So what's the point of keeping them around? And and it's okay to hurt someone's feeling, okay? <laughs> if, yeah. If, I'm just being real, okay? We need to be real sometimes. And feelings are meant to be hurt. And you just got to be able to be strong enough to say, you know what? He's right. Or she's right. I need to stop acting like this. I need to stop doing this. So, there you go. Yeah. And call them out. Call them out. Sometimes they need to hear it. They may not even realize they're being that negative. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people are afraid of telling negative people that they're negative. I'll tell you that. Or you just won't ever hear from me again. Yes. And and the thing is, the truth hurts. When you're telling someone about the truth, you know, this is what you did. And I didn't like what you did because of A, B, C, whatever. Then they tend to... Feel a certain way about yeah, they get defensive and right uh, about the the truth. But if you lie and says, you know what, it's okay, it was fine. It's you okay. become an enabler. You just right. allow them to continue being their toxic self. So if someone think you don't toxic do that. to me, I'm gonna leave you in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any. I don't have any friends who's that. Yeah. I've, I've met a lot of people that I would not spend more than two minutes talking to them. I've yeah. met them. The work. There's some other avenues. I don't have any any person that I actually call friends that would keep I, pouring. I would say the that. people that you really engage with are your brother, my brother. When you and my brother are together, you guys really have stuff to talk about. Yeah. And and yeah. mostly things that you guys talk about is politics or you just like laugh about something or yeah. ha ha ha. Actually, you know, it's the same thing. Both your brother and my brother, when we talk about it, always in Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, but, but yes, but you know, I have I have I have a few people I talk to. Yes. Like, for instance, I have a couple of friends from church. We we talk, but it's always like positive stuff, and and I don't have anyone that I could say would be mm-hmm. pouring garbage in my mind. No, I live the garbage in twenty twenty. <laughs> yes, you don't want to bring any garbage in twenty twenty one, and it's okay to do you in twenty twenty one. And I think that's one thing we gotta say before we wrap this up. It's okay for you to do you, do the things that you want to do in 2021. Because most of the time, we worry about what someone is going to say, what someone is going to do. People are going to talk about us. People are going to say, oh my gosh, she's doing this, she's doing that, or he's doing this, doing that. But it's okay if you just say, you know what, I'm blocking everyone out this new year. You know, I got to focus on me. I need to do what I want to do. I... I used to like saying new me, new year, (laughs) you know, but I was telling my husband, it's not so much of a new me. It's more like my attitude change and my attitude is more like I got to do what I got to do for my family. If I so much focusing on what people's going to say about CC, you know, oh my God, this is change or will change. They don't really care much about us. No, we care. We just want to take what we do as a priority because we want to focus on our life because we have our own life to to live worry about live grow and Mm -hmm. all that stuff yes so do you okay do you boo do what you gotta do so we want to tell what's the next one that you want to say before we wrap it up 
stop playing small. Ooh. And this is what I say to this, you know? That's a good one, babe. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stop playing small. We have to stretch ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know 2020, many people find themselves doing things that they never thought they would have been able to do. But yes. that allowed a lot of them to try new things, learn new things, mm -hmm. have new experience. Yes. So stop playing small. Don't limit your, your, your abilities to do things differently. Yes. You know, set goals that are beyond what you normally do. Mm -hmm. You know, many times when we set goals, we set goals based on what we know, but we have to start setting goals based on what will force us to do more, to explore more, to stretch more. Challenges, many people avoid challenges as much as they can. True. I know yes. at one point I was that type of thing. I would avoid an argument, a discussion as much as mm -hmm. I can, and I would become agreeable yeah. to many things because I, 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 I was afraid of saying hey i disagree no welcome challenges whether it's the conversation or maybe a new task or take a new position at work or um, learn a new skill think big add a new business think beyond or start a new business whatever it may be but think beyond what you know because mm -hmm. that will force you to learn something new yeah. and if you learn something new you gain new capabilities you become more valuable if you work for a company, definitely that will help you earn more money. If you work for yourself, you'll find new ways of making more money. Yes. So think big, do new things. And every year, every new year, every day that we see, that's God telling us, hey, listen, you're not done on this planet. Mm -hmm. Yes, it may yeah. be challenging. There may be COVID killing us. But if you wake up the next day, look at it as mm -hmm. I'm giving one more chance. To do something new. So take that opportunity to do big things. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's, I think that that's the last thing we want to live in yeah. 2020. It's a small thinking is staying back. Stop. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Small. And, and, and just to add to what you said, small thinking will not get you to where you want to get in nope. life. No, nope. you know, and don't settle. Nope. Don't settle for where you are, nope. whether if you work for someone or mm -hmm. if you work for yourself. Don't settle. Keep pushing. Keep adding more things into your um, whatever that you want to do. Just keep adding more. If you have keep the time, learning. learn more. Do whatever you have to do for yourself, okay? The new year is tomorrow. You want to make sure that you start the year strong. End the year strong. Start a new year strong. Don't just say, you know what? It's the new year. I'm just going to wait until February comes or March come before I target this business or the school, whatever it is. Start strong. Start January 1st. When you start strong, you're going to end the year stronger. So, guys, um, before we wrap up the podcast, and I just want to make sure that we go over the few things that we spoke about a few minutes ago. So, go ahead, babe. What are they again? Let's remind the audience what they are. Self-doubt. Yes. Leave this behind. Now, okay. Stop doubting your ideas, your capabilities, the things that you can achieve. Yes. If God gives you the idea, it's because he knows that you can do it. Mm -hmm. So yes, it may be scary at times, mm -hmm. but if the idea pops up on your head and you've worked it through and it makes yes. sense, mm -hmm. instead of you just shutting it down, get some help. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, procrastination. Ooh. Stop procrastinating. Set your priorities. If something needs to get done today, do it today. Don't move it to tomorrow, the end of the week, or the end of next month. Mm -hmm. No. If it's due today, get on it today. Make the time and do it. Don't find excuses. Find ways. Oh, I like that. I told you I have wisdom. Okay. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Stop comparing yourself to others. Hmm. We all will be in whatever place we need to be in our lives. Now, we can draw inspiration from others. Like my virtual friends. Like her virtual <laughs> friends. Yes, there's a lot of people that may be doing things that we want to do, but instead of comparing ourselves to them and make ourselves feel inferior and uh, devalue ourselves compared to what they've done, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Learn from what they've done. Yes. Now, you don't necessarily have to do exactly what they do because obviously their goals and, and their agendas is probably it's different not, than yours. Right. But you can pick little things from what they've done to help you better yourself. Absolutely. Right? Live your life. And some of us are in relationship that we should not be in. Sometimes we have, people, we have people around us that should not be around you. And I'm talking about any toxic relationship that you find yourself in. Get out of them. In the level. Right? Get out of them. Uh, if it's a friend that you... Um, that whenever you come across this friend, they have nothing but negative things to tell you. Maybe you don't need to speak with this person anymore. Mm -mm. If it's a spouse, now I'm not saying get rid of your spouse, <laughs> but... Talk to your spouse. Maybe help them. Yes. Get them a positive counselor, life coach, whoever those people are that gets people... Right here. Help people get better call and figure me. things out. Or call <laughs> her. But, you know, it's unfortunate sometimes we have people in a household that are pouring garbage in our head. Distance yourself from them. Or if you think you can help them, then help them be better. Help them, help them see the positive side instead of the negative side. Yes. If you have the skills to be able to help someone get better, do so. Mm -hmm. If you don't, advise them to get help. If they don't want to get help, then distance yourself from this person. Then Just get say, out. <laughs> get out. No. Don't go and leave your wife saying that Will said. <laughs> and one last thing. Um, stop thinking small. Stop playing small. If you're going to do something... Do the best that you can mm -hmm. at it. If, um, if you're going to set a goal, set a goal that will force you to do things you've never done before. Uh, set a goal that will stretch you, forces you to learn new things, learn new skills. Maybe talk to people that you'll never talk to before. Force yourself to explore more things. You'll find that you learn new things. And, and if you work for a company, by you knowing more things, you can maybe get a promotion, uh, maybe get paid more. If you work for yourself, you'll find new ways to make money. So as you go into this new year, look for things that will make you be better. And 2021 will be better than 2020. Obviously, COVID may still be there, but COVID's got nothing on you. That's right. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> so those are the things yes, that yes. um that we are living in 2020. Absolutely. Yes. And I'm lucky to have her to support me. Obviously, she's my wife, so she has no choice. And she's lucky to have me. <laughs> We're lucky to have each other. Yes. 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 We're lucky to have each other because one of the biggest things that would be on any goals that any one of us mm -hmm. set is to have someone to hold us accountable. Someone that will call us out when we're not doing the things that we say we would want to yes. do. Like I know I have some issues, but she and she she's already doing it. But I know more than ever since we made this list, she'll make sure that the things that are my biggest weaknesses that's on this list she'll make sure that she's on me and i'll do the same thing mm -hmm. it's not going to be the sometimes the easiest conversation to have i know i have issues sometimes i try to argue my points sometimes it's not <laughs> you who has the issues it's your ego gets in the way right i think when it comes to guys men whatever your spouse husband your boyfriend their ego is just like don't want them to we're proud of ourselves. And Their so ego just feel like, you know, to... oh, you shouldn't be telling me what to do. And sometimes I feel like, okay, well, put your ego aside and listen and do what I tell you to do. I'm not being bossy. Oh. I'm just holding you accountable for the things that you said you were going to do. Right? Yes. So if you say you you have this, this list of things that you want to work on yourself, you need to have someone. Just like if you work for someone and you, your boss tell you, hey, listen, you screw up last year, you, you screw up last month or whatever. So we want to make sure that we hold you accountable so that way it don't happen again. So it's the same thing. When your spouse holds you accountable, it's because we want you to do better. We want to help you. So it could be me who's lacking in a department where I I don't know where I'm lacking You're at. You're dropping but, the ball? Yeah, but... I do my best, my best to not lack on things, you know, um, write it down. My husband's weakness is to write when it comes to write things down. He don't, he doesn't do that. <laughs> 
He doesn't do that. I think it's a I don't think I don't want to say it's a main thing, but that's his weakness. He doesn't write it down and I'm his personal assistant. I'm his business assistant. I'm his wife. I'm whatever else that it is out there as the title of, you know, the household. <laughs> so yeah, you need to have someone hold you accountable. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah, so um definitely Definitely. I know there was something else that you wanted to um, add for the new year. When you wish your friend, family member, happy new year, you want them to do what, baby? Because I know something that oh, you yeah. mentioned. Oh, yeah. You know, it's customary for us to make that call when that when that clock turn 12 and the ball drops. We watch it on TV and you get on the phone and you get in your text. You start <laughs> texting people. Pick someone. Mm-hmm. When you call them or text them, happy new year. You're going to add to that to say, you know what? This year, I am going to need a favor from you. Yes. This is the list of things that I made that I either don't want to do anymore or I want to do in 2020. The list of my I need laundry. you to help me stay true to mm-hmm. what I say I want to do. Now, text him the list or email them the list. Whatever you do, make sure they have it. And be honest with this person. Tell them they can be as brutal and as... As upfront as they can your, with you. Put your feeling aside, put your ego yes. aside, and just take it like and, a man. And you could do the same for them if they have something that they need help with. Yes. So don't do it alone because sometimes you have every good intentions to do things. You got to do it. But if you don't have someone to hold you accountable, sometimes <laughs> we become our worst enemy when it comes to pursuing our goals and getting the things that we need done so if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen (laughs) you didn't see that coming huh if i can't take the heat i'm going to turn on the ac (laughs) only you would say that but yes take the heat guys take the heat the heat is gonna help you yeah you know accountability is never the easiest conversation to have when someone's telling in your face, you're screwing up, it could be uncomfortable. But remember, that's for your own good. Yes. Because if yes. you say this year, I want to do this, and I know fitness is like one of the biggest things that people set the goals around at the beginning of every year. Mm-hmm. If you say you're going to go to the gym, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you go to the gym. For well, the whole year. And when your gym partner calls you and says, hey, yo, I'm picking you up, or are you there? And you're like... Yes. If you say you're going to do it, whatever it is, do it. If the person that you ask to hold you accountable gets on you, it's okay. If you say you're going to the gym for the whole year, just do it. Yes, don't she's talking the, to me. Don't just... <laughs> <laughs> don't do not just do not the first month. The second month come and you're like, ah. You know, yeah. it's like, okay, new year, I got to work out. So, and then the new year, the first day of the new year come, and then that's, that's it. But you want to make sure it's a, a yearly, like throughout the whole year. Yeah. A 365 days. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes. And I'm going to hold you accountable. Hey, listen, I'm ready for this new year, and I know what I need to do, and I will do whatever I need to do to do what I need to do. <laughs> to the best of your ability. <laughs> Yes. Right? Yes. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you to our new subscribers. Thank you for liking, commenting, whatever else. Um, Thank you for joining this community. Because of you, we are, you know, adding more content. We're growing. Um, This only helped us. You know, something that we did say we are going definitely to start a podcast and we did it and this is a great accomplishment for us so everything in life starts small you know it's a small community for now but you know as time goes by it will eventually be a bigger larger community but by the grace of god we are so blessed to have you guys on board we are grateful to have our subscribers and of course youtube platform thank you because of you we have this platform to share our experiences with you guys all right so thank you very much don't forget to check us out obviously on youtube facebook soundcloud itunes and tunes and again 
Thank you for a great year. Thank you for being there for us and with us. And we're looking forward to have even more interaction with you guys in 2021. So on that note, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for your support. Yes. And have a you. great 2021. How do you say happy, happy new year? New year. <laughs> happy, happy, happy new year. Peace, happy people. Happy new year, peace, guys. Peace.